all of these bottled alkaline waters are only alkaline because of what's been added to them. But alkaline ionized water becomes alkaline from extracting what is already in the water, not by adding things to it. I'm going to perform a simple test, which will expose each water to a very acidic waste product, namely carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide we exhale is one of the ways our body expels waste. The main methods the body uses to expel waste are perspiration, urination, defecation, and respiration. In layman's terms, sweating, peeing, pooping, and exhaling. Very basic. Okay, so let's get started with this. I'm gonna be testing a total of six different bottled alkalized waters. And I'm gonna be testing them in comparison to the common water. So let's go ahead and pour these out. This is the smart water, alkaline water. This is Kangen water, 9.5. This is the real water. I'm going to be adding the pH drops. They're going to give us an idea of what the alkalinity appears to be. And then I'm going to hit these things with some CO2. Now I'm going to do them simultaneously so that you'll actually be able to see these things happening real time together, okay? So uh, hopefully my lungs can do this. Let's add some CO2. So we've seen the results of the first test, so let's take a look at what these waters do. This first one is Ascension. Once again, it's our same common water, 9.5. The last one for this part of the test is Carlsbad alkaline water. All right, let's go ahead and add the pH drops again. Ooh, things aren't looking good for Carlsbad right off the bat. <laughs> but let's take our straws. Mix these up, get ready to add some CO2. All righty, here we go. All right, well, I actually did that one a little bit longer. I was trying to see if I could make the Kangen water go acidic, but even with that extra time, the properties are too strong for me to be able to turn it like these. So here are the final waters for our test today. The first one is alkaline 88 water, which is supposed to have a pH value of 8.8. .8 that hence the name. Once again, Kangen water, 9.5. And 
And this is an alkalized water from Sprouts. This one literally says alkalized on the bottom. All right, let's put on our pH drops. Ooh, looks like we might have a good competition this time. All right, one, two, and three. All right. Let's, just, let's give these guys some acidic CO2. started out equal, but they sure didn't finish equal. As you can see, the Kangen Water 9.5 has held its properties better than anything else that we've tested. Definitely shows that there is a difference between ionized and alkalized water. So if someone wants to know if there's a difference between alkalized bottled water and alkaline ionized water, share this video and show them that there absolutely is a difference and let them know if they care about their health their finances and the environment nothing compares to the best alkaline ionized water available Congen water